They say, know what the hackers know so that you may not be hacked. All right, guys, today I am going to be showing you how you can understand how people develop phishing website, right? So what do we mean by phishing website? Phishing websites are websites that are used to collect your information without you knowing, right? So I'm going to be showing you how guys design wallet database um, a cryptocurrency website where they ask you to enter some certain amount of um, um, ask you to enter you know phrase of your uh, wallet address or phrase of your wallet to enable you uh, recover your password or enable you maybe you forget your password or stuff like that so they ask you to enter these phrases so that they can help you recover your password and when you enter these phrases you know this, this information goes right into their email and they use this information to now what hack your wallet right they use this information to now hack your wallet now the reason why i'm doing this tutorial is for you to know what the hackers know so that you will not fall victim of being hacked right so this tutorial um you can use this um software i'm going to be showing you that i've written i'm going to show you you can use it for your school project you can use it for assignment you can use it for a, a particular project you know just for anything and i want to make a disclaimer right here and now that any of my tutorial or any of my software that i give you is not to be used for the purpose of fraud i do not do anything that has to do with fraud and i do not support it and i do not have hand in it that's why i am making this disclaimer right so i'm going to be showing you how you can write a single program that people you can put online and when people enter their phrases of their wallet address you know you get this information sent right into your email and when the information goes into your email you cannot use this information you know to get information hacked into their wallet right and this is known as phishing right so like i always say if you want to hold this kind of website the best uh that i recommend right now is um, bluehost right i use bluehost and i use nameship a lot right so i'm going to be introducing this bluehost to use so um i'd rather use this bluehost now in this video underneath this video you are going to be seeing a link right to bluehost right make sure you click on that link that link is my referral link when you click on that link and you register bluehost is going to give you a very very good discount for hosting websites on their also your website on their platform and also they're also going to give me a commission for making you come so it's a win-win situation for us so do not just go to blue host and type blue host.com right under this video you are going to see a link just click on that link and it's going to take you to this platform in blue right so when you come to this platform in blue you see what made is the web hosting done so you choose this one host your website right it's just two point six five dollar per month and you can buy from one month and they give you a free domain for one year they give you free ssl can you see that all of these are very very good for you so they give you a free domain they give you a free ssl so all you need to do is just buy the host so you just click on host your site when you click on host your site it's going to take you to this um page you see basic plus storage pro so you don't need any all of these right so this is just cool for you can you see that this is just cool for you you get one website, you get 50 bits uh, SSD storage and 24 7 customer support. Right? So, this is just good for you. So, you just click on select this. All right, so you see that when you click on select that, it's going to ask you to sign up in Bluehost, right? It's going to ask you to sign up in Bluehost. All right, guys, it's going to ask you to sign up in Bluehost and it's going to be giving you a free domain name. So I can just do many wallet helper.com, right? So I can just do many wallet helper.com. So I'll click on next. All right, can you see that the domain many wallet period.com is available, right? So you are just gonna fill your name, put your name and, and your country, your city, your zip code, right? Your zip code. So you can just say zip code of your city. You can just go to go and say zip code of Lagos. So if you're in Lagos, if you are in Hyderabad, say zip code of Hyderabad. So just fill all that, put your email address, right? So you come here, so it's a basic package. Uh, you see that basic package, 12 month price, right? With explosives, basic package 12 months price, you're gonna get um um 35 35.40 dollars, right? 
So um, domain privacy, you can um, you can say no, um, right? You can say no. Then you can say uh, code basic. You can say no. Just make sure you find a way to untick all of these, right? Make sure you untick all of that. But if you don't untick that, you know it's going to hurt um, to your your money, right? So make sure you untick all of that, right? So you come right here. You put your credit card number. You put your CVV. CVV is the three-digit code number on the back of your card. Then you enter your information and you click submit, right? So when you do that, you will be. You just have to wait, right? So you just have to wait. Your cPanel username and password will be sent to you. So in this case, I already have a cPanel username and password. I have already logged into my cPanel, right? So when they send you your cPanel username and password, you go to log into your cPanel like this. So this is my cPanel, right? So all I need to do is just upload the file. I'm going to show you how you can get access to the file. So I can come find manager. So what I do is just I just did a search for file. So file manager comes up, right? Or you can see scroll down, right? See when you scroll down here, you're gonna see what file manager. So all you have to do is just what, click on it and the file manager will open for you in another tab. So the file manager is opening for me right away. All right, so when you come to your file manager, all you have to do is just what uh, go to your public underscore HTML. So I've just click on my public underscore HTML and I'm just gonna open it right the way right so you can just upload your file if you're just doing this for your client just upload it on your public underscore HTML right so but I don't want this to be in my main domain I just want this to be in a subfolder of my website right so I'm just going to create a folder so I click on folder and and I will say wallets right so I'll say wallet so I create a folder right away so the folder has been created wallet so I'll double click on it to open this wallet right so this is where I want to upload my files to so don't worry I'm going to give you access to how you're going to get the file so I click on upload then I'll click on I click on select then I'll show files then I'm going to go to my desktop where I have that uh, wallet so let me just look for that uh, so this is the file so this is the file so I'll just um, right click on this file right here I'll click I'll say send to and I'll compress right so maybe when you are getting this file it will already be compressed so you don't need to compress again all you need to do is just um, uplift that compressed file right into your uh, cPanel so it's already compressed so I'll just double click on it so it's going to upload for me right away right so let's wait for it to finish uploading So just ensure that right when it's upload you see um, something like a green right see something like a green just make sure it's fully up can you see that so it has turned green right away so that's turned right away. so i just click on here and take me back so you see that wallet database so i'll just right click on it so right click on this um, wallet database then click on extract then you click on extract files awesome the files have been extracted so i just click on reload also, guys, a wallet database. So I'm going to move it into wallet. So I'll just double click to open all of these files. Then I'll click on what? So right here, I'll click on select all. You can see it, see it right here. Select all. Then I'll click on move. Can you see that? Select or move. Then I'll remove this wallet databases. I just ensure I want to move it to only wallet, right? So wallets. So if I click on public underscore HTML, and this is wallet uh, folder that we created, and double click on it. You see that wallet is now open right here. So if I go to my domain, this is my domain name, right? So you want to access that because I am not putting it on the public on the HTML. I'm putting it on on wallet. So I'll just say my domain name slash wallet, right? My domain name slash wallet. Also, can you see that my domain name slash wallet? Can you see that? Can you see that? So this is going to load for me immediately. Can you see that? My domain name slash wallet so this is going to load for me immediately so let's just finish the configuration before we test this very well so let's go back to here and there right so let's go to list awesome now when you go to list you see a file called config.php right config.php so just right click on this file and click on edit then click on edit again awesome right so when you click on edit and edit you're going to see all of that so you see this host means you're going to put your what 
your and domain name so what is my domain name my domain name is this so this is my domain name i'm just going to take my domain name right here and put right here so i'm going to replace that with my domain name so do not you don't need, you don't need to put http here so right so i'm going to put my domain name so um then my username info at this so i'm going to create uh, uh, um i'm going to create an email so i just call me a type email right so click on email accounts so let me see what we need so my username and what the password of that email right so let's create that email now so let's create that email right away so i'm going to click on what create so i can see wallet or uh, info anything i'm just put info right so i click on generate password so this is the password i'll copy this password because i will need the password then i'll just click on create so let me go back to my config file so i'm going to replace the password I'm going to replace the password with this so please make sure you know what you're doing you see see where i'm replacing this so leave this to one one here so just put it right here like this can you see that so uh we just put my this uh this is there so i've now put my um email that i just created is info at my domain name so i'll just put this right here can you see that i'll just put it right here info a lot so i'll just copy this right here again and i'll use it to um replace this right here can you see that it's very simple we just replace that can you see that so just and uh, save so it means that any information field on the website will be collected to this email right so let's go back right here so let's click on check email so just click on check email let's ensure that um our email is uh, properly set up very well right our email is properly set up very well So it's going to log, in, log us into our webmail, right? All right, so just click on this. So open my inbox when I log in, just click on open. So I'm doing this for us to just be sure that our email exists. Just make sure that that email that you're using um, right here in this config file, make sure that that email is what is existing, right? So let's open that email. All right, so we can see that that email already exists. So let's go back right here. So have we saved this? Yes, we have saved this. So this is saved. So let's go back right into our site and let us, let us just refresh. So see what's going to happen right away. So I click on here. You see that? Please select issue category. Which of this is related to your issue? You see that? Swap exchange will support you in any related issue with swapping. You see that? Connect to that. Connect to this online web application to mobile wallets. You see that? Can you click here? Missing phone lost access to phone or phone is missing can you see that high fees increase in transaction fees can you click here so whatever you click here is also going to take you to wherever you click when you click validate so click on validate wallet here awesome can you see that so when you click on validate wallet it's going to take you to this wallet connect and ask you to continue to wallet connect so you click on this right awesome so when you click on that it's going to ask you which of the wallets you are having issues or which of the wallet you want to use can you see that these are different wallet alpha wallet descent wallet is considered talk wallet nash a lot of these wallets are here can you see that bitpay just 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 they are very very um, many here right so let's say we want to choose um okay let's say we want to choose bitpay i think i saw bitpay just now let's say we want to, anyone so i click on bitpay So I click on BitPay. Can you see that? So BitPay wallet, right? So any of the wallet that you choose is going to pick up that wallet um, uh, information. Let Let's click on Connect again. If I click on Trust Wallet, you see that? If I click on Trust Wallet. You see that? It's going to click click on Trust Wallet. Can you see that? So enter the phrase that you are asked to enter. So let's say my phrase is. So this is my phrase, and this is my keystone JSON. So these are the information. So my password and my private key. Can you see that? So I click on what submit. Awesome. Can you see that? Form has been submitted, right? So what happens is that one all of this secret information that you put here you know is entered and sent 
is going to be captured by this email, right? It's going to be captured by this email. So let's just refresh this email and see. Can you see that? <laughs> Trust for level. So let me just open it. Can you see that? You see that? The phrase, can you see that? The phrase for trust wallet, can you see that? The phrase for trust wallet that the user entered is this. Can you see that? The key store is this. The password is this. And the private key is this. Can you see that? This is how you have access to any of this wallet information that is entered from that particular form. Can you see that? You just get this, um, and when this information is entered, you get it right inside your email and people who fill this information will never have an idea that right we never have the idea that you just grab their work their information they will never have an idea that this information that you just submitted to them was grabbed so let's fill one one other more so i did for trust wallet just now so let me do for okay let's do for another wallet so let's do it for um um Let's do for BitPay. So I click on BitPay. So can you see that BitPay wallet? So enter the phrase. Can you see that? Keystore JSON. So anything that the user has entered here. Can you see that? Private key. And submit. Awesome, it's a form has been what submitted for bit bit pay. So if we come right here again and what and refresh this email, we will see all the bit pay information. So let's just see one more time and see if that's going to land in our email. Can you see that bit pay wallet form? So if you double click on this right now, you are just going to see that. Can you see that? This is the phrase, this is the key store, this is the password, and this is the private key so that is how you can use this um, um um simple information to grab wallet address and that is how a lot of hackers a lot of fishers use to grab wallets information key phrase key store password and private key information right so like i said before the starting of this training know what the hackers know know what the bad guys know so that you will not fall victim for them right guys so um if you need this um script maybe for your uh, project or whatever you want to do and you want to get access to this script this script i'm going to give it to you for just 40 thousand era if you're living in nigeria and what 85 dollars if you're living in any part of this world so there will be a link under this um video for you to make payment to this script and when you make payment for this script you automatically download the script and you can use this script for whatever project you want to use this script for right so i have already made a disclaimer and i'm not connected to anything that is not legal when you use this script now another good thing about this script is that you can use this script as many times as you want you can continue to use the script always and always and always right so if you're in nigeria it's forty thousand error you just go to um you can pay directly online and automatically get access to this if you're living in any part of this world it's just 85 dollars you can pay directly online and you also get access to this so guys thank you so very much please ensure you smash the subscribe button so that you remain in this channel when i drop videos like this you get access to this video once again my name is ajayi adebayo 